is that required area what we are saying as a electrical engineer it is one of the most huge area and effluent that is your You are looking regarding the machines. Everybody, you know what you mean by a machine. The machine is one. It is a device which converts one form of energy into the other form of energy. That we are calling it as a machine. But here, as electrical engineer, we are discussing regarding the machines which relates to only the electric. And that machines we are calling it as electrical machines. That is the point. Now, while we are discussing regarding these electrical machines, first you know the definition of electrical machines. So these electrical machines are those which converts other form of energy into a electrical energy, or it may be a electrical energy into a other form of energy. And that particular device we are calling it as electrical machines. Clear. Now, if you want to clearly understand the performance and the working and complete analysis of the electrical machines, we should basically know how these machines are available in electric, as well as how these machines are made, or how we are making this, on which particular base we are making these machines. If you know this basic idea, we can easily analyze and we can easily understand all these electrical machines. But my point is that before going to that basic idea, first we should know what are the different types of electrical machines which are available throughout the globe. That one thing, if you think of this electrical machine, basically we are two types of electrical machines. It is available throughout the globe. That one it will be a static, and another one will be a rotating electrical machines. These are the majorly, hugely available widely throughout the globe. That is either it may be a static electrical machines or either it may be a rotating electrical machines. Now. These machines, whether it may be a static or whether it may be a rotating, these machines what it will do? It will just either transfer the energy or either it will convert the energy. Means one device which is static there, this static device, either it will transfer us or either it will convert. But one thing you remember, if it is a static electrical machine. It is only transferring the energy from same energy to same energy. But when you come to a rotating electrical machine, so this rotating electrical machine always it will not transfer, but it will transfer also. Along with that, it will convert also. Two possibilities will be available in rotating electrical machines. So having this idea, either it will be a static electrical machine or either it will be a rotating electrical machine. So these are the two important, very wide availability of electrical machines: static and rotating electrical machines. Now here, how all these machines we are basically make, and we, if you know this basic idea of making, either it may be static or either it may be rotating. If you know that concept, you can easily understand the electrical machine. Now again, while we are making the electrical static or rotating, again these machines we can make by again two important types or methods. So one is a this electrical machines either we can make it as a electromagnetic method or we can make it as a We are using either we can make our electrical machines by 
by electromagnetic method or we can make our electrical machines either it is a electrostatic method. Now, if you clearly know whether our electrical machines, whether it may be a static or rotating, whether all the machines we are making by electromagnetic method or all the machines we are making with the electrostatic method or whether, whether both the methods will be applicable in order to prepare or in order to make your electrical machines that we should easily know after discussing these two methods either it may be electromagnetic or either it may be electrostatic first I will consider it as electrostatic method so in this electrostatic method in this electrostatic method usually in order to make even electrical machines we are basically considering the rotating electrical machine and this rotating electrical machine is where in which the energy either it will be transferred or either it will be converted both it is possibility in rotating electrical machine and because of that by that rotating machine the output of a rotating machine usually we are having two types of output we are having by rotating electrical machine so that will be these rotating electrical machine either it will be act as a generator or either it will be act as a motor but the input and output of the machine usually either it may be a electrical to mechanical or mechanical to electrical so if it converts electrical to mechanical then we can say it is a motor principle if it converts from mechanical to electrical then we can say it is a generator so that is the concept but usually in this rotating electrical machine we are considering the production of mechanical force so this mechanical force how we are producing in our machine electrical machine and in order to produce this mechanical force how much electrical energy we can utilize so that electrical energy we can utilize by both the methods either electromagnetic method or either electrostatic method so first I are considering electrostatic method so electrostatic means everybody you know that it is a static device which stores the electrical energy that concept it is electrostatic but you know already electrical energy if you are storing by electrostatic method how much electrical energy you can store what is the maximum capacity we can store as an electrical energy in an electrostatic device but standardly we can store our electrical energy a maximum energy density of how much it is about 3 mega volt per meter this much electrical energy we can store as an electrostatic device the maximum energy in order to store from an electrostatic device is 3 mega volt per meter that means standard rate for a maximum energy storage it is 3 mega volt but one thing you remember whether is it possible to store above this energy in an electrostatic method but here storage of this electrical energy it majorly depends on the other one of the medium that medium we are calling it as a dielectric medium in order to store your electrical energy so that electric energy we can store but it majorly depends on the other important medium so that will be a dielectric medium here usually and standardly we are using one of the dielectric medium that will be air so means if you are using air as a dielectric medium in a electrostatic device and if the distance between the two that space between the two plates if it is one meter and if you are using dielectric medium as a air means we can maximum we can store the electrical energy is 
3 mega volt per meter. Suppose if you want to store more than this energy as a energy density in electrostatic device, it is not possible. Why? Because that dielectric medium, if you are using air as a dielectric medium, its dielectric strength will be completely breaks. When it breaks, your total device will be not eligible for storing this much of energy. So that's why the total energy storage it depends upon the dielectric breakdown strength of that medium, which medium we are using. So now, by using this particular electrostatic energy, I have already told we are producing a mechanical force. Means, this much of electrical energy we are using as an input energy for the electrical machine which converts electrical energy into a mechanical force. So that this much input energy is to use in order to produce a mechanical force, maximum how much mechanical force we can produce, that is, we can produce maximum mechanical force, that is about, it is 40 joules per meter, means this much of mechanical force we can produce by using this much of electrical energy. So this is the one method what we are using in order to get the mechanical force from the method, the electrostatic method. Now we go for another method. So that it is an electromagnetic method. You, everybody already know, these electromagnets are nothing but artificial magnets. We are only making these magnets and we are only producing our magnets. But here why we are preparing the electromagnet, what is the electrical energy we can use? And at the same time, what is the maximum flux we can produce by your electromagnetic process? You everybody already know. That means from a electromagnetic idea, with a very small amount of electrical energy, very small amount of electrical energy, we can produce our electromagnet. But one thing you remember, there is no restriction for the production of electromagnetic capacity. We can produce any amount of electromagnetic strength by electromagnetic process. But whatever the electromagnetic process we are doing, we are using a very small amount of electrical energy. Now from this electromagnetic nature, usually in our electrical machine, the maximum magnetic energy which is required in a rotating electrical machine. I am saying in a rotating electrical machine, the maximum magnetic energy we are need it is always I mean the limitation means up to how much this will be the electromagnetic flux density maximum flux density it is required for any electrical machine that is up to a 1.6 Weber per meter square only this much behind that electromagnetic energy it is not possible to produce if you are using a magnetic material as a ferromagnetic material. So this is the maximum flux density we can produce in our electromagnetic machines that is 1.6 Weber per meter square. And only from this amount of magnetic energy and with a very small amount of electrical power. Now how much mechanical force we can produce? So by this method the same mechanical force we can produce up to about 1 mega joule per meter. So this is the difference. What difference? The difference is that one is an electromagnetic method and another one is an electrostatic method. But if you are using an electrostatic method from that much of electrical power we can produce that much of mechanical power. That is, from an electrostatic method, 3 mega volt input energy, electrical energy, and our output mechanical power is 40 joules per meter cube. Similarly, if you go for an electromagnetic method, a very small amount of current it is maximum, it is necessary, and that only that much of small amount of electrical energy we are producing a magnetic flux density up to 1.6 it 
is standard it will not produce more than this because there is a limitation according to the magnetic property of the magnetic material and up to only 1.6 weber per meter square what we are using that much magnetic density we can produce up to a about 1 mega joule per meter to that much energy we can produce now when we compare both these two 40 and 1 mega joule and both the methods electrostatic method as well as electromagnetic method so if we are using one conclusion what we can say if we use methods if we are using the electromagnetic method then this electromagnetic energy density it is about 25,000 times greater than electrostatic method 25,000 times greater when we compare with electrostatic to electromagnetic and because of this concept why we are making electro electrical machine so we are maximum not only we are throughout the globe we are referring only this particular type of method all the electrical machines what we are making by the method of electromagnetic methods so this is the one concept very clearly you understood and from this how we are making the machines 